Hi, Corey Thorne, spiritual healer, life coach, psychic medium. Coming in to do the channel messages for March 2020. And yes, I have not been doing the videos because I've been sick and had no voice. So I am back. And this will be a channel message for those born under the sign or uh, have the Aquarius under the sign or have Aquarius in your rising sun in your zodiac. So this is Aquarius. And it's for any, this is general, this is not a personal reading, so please know that it may not resonate with you this month. If it doesn't, then if it doesn't, then maybe next month will. And if it does, then yay. If you're cross-watching, there may be something in here for you. So uh, also, also got to give the whole spiel. Also remember, this does not replace any medical, psychological advice that you have been giving. Given this is to be taken as a form of entertainment. I am not personally working with you as a life coach in any way right now. I am giving you a channeled message through YouTube <laughs> and Facebook. So I had to move. I just had to move something out of the way and it was like, it's time to move things out of the way, Aquarius. <clears throat> or it's time to get out of your own way. Release, release all your fears and, and get out of your own way. That's, that's what I'm getting. Release all of your fears. And this is happening, you know, while we're still in the Mercury retrograde, I'm making these videos uh, for March. And... Um, And what I'm getting is, sorry, I'm listening. Sorry, I'm listening. I record these right in the moment. So it's not like I pre-write anything down or it's what's happening. I ask for the message to come through as soon as I hit the record button. And Aquarius, it's like, yeah, get out of your own way. Release all the fears. Don't worry. I feel like there's an opportunity to, to like um, start your own business or to venture out into something that's a soul like um a soul proprietorship like an uh a, a soul adventure something that you have to go out and do on your own and i feel like you can't take anybody with you or you don't want to take anybody with you and uh, and that you, there's parts of the journey of life that we have to take alone and this feels like it's one of them to me and this is the daily guidance and it is entrepreneur and I feel as if you're, you're lighting your own way, you're, you're, you're starting to move into your own way of working and that you don't need, you don't need a big human team. You have a very well orchestrated and uh, well planned out team in spirit world. Like you, you're, you're walking with your council and they're guiding you through into this next stage of your journey. And it's like, you, it's, you can't do this with a pile of people. It's something that you have to do alone. We have to sometimes walk parts of our journey alone, like without the humans, because it's something on, it's something on the inside of you that you're really ready to let go. Um, the ones that do walk with you, the ones that are still there, or the ones that have always been by your side, that's, that's, the, loyal, that's the loyal humans who are in your life or appearing in your life. And I feel as if you do have some very loyal, loyal people, they're going to understand that you have to do a little piece of this journey by yourself. And then they're going to be right there to be there for you. And they're going to be right there to, um, to, a, to kind of work beside you or be by your side when this is all unfolded. Whatever this is, when it all unfolds, it's happening, but you have to be a little bit assertive. Like you get, it's like, You've got to take the bull by the horns type of thing. And so Aquarius, yeah, you've got to grab this. And so this isn't a fire sign. So this is definitely in set. This is definitely in a Capricorn or sorry, a Sagittarius and Aries or Leo kind of energy. So whether or not this is a, uh, like happening in those, one of those months, like, so April would be, uh, eight, end of March. Yeah. So it would be April. So it would be end of March to sometime in April. I feel like, cause it's, I mean, this could also be Taurus as well, but no, it feels very fire. No, it's no, I know I heard no, no, it's in the fire seasons. So it's in the fire energy. So it's like, it's either during that time. And if you're not ready, then it's like in 
in the Leo. So it's in August. So it's either April and, and both are A's. So I feel like it's in April or August. I have A. It's in those months of you having some major change happen in your life that part of the journey you've had to take on your own. And so there's something major about to change and to not be afraid. You've got to be a little bit assertive to push through, to push through the energy up until then, a little bit assertive to take your, take full control of your life and to not do any of it with like um, anger projection or an FU kind of energy. This has to be done in all love. So it's assertive in love and the entrepreneur, which means like venturing out to do something. And it's like everything that you're doing in the forward moment has to be of a place of love. It cannot come. It cannot come from anything other than that is what I'm getting. You can't take the journey. You can't take the journey in, um, in anger. And I feel like you're really going to feel this happening during the full moon of March. Like you're going to start to really be like lit up, like whatever is holding you back, whatever kind of, whatever kind of chains that are tethering you down to the, to the past or the fears. I feel like it's fears of the what ifs or, you know, what if it goes wrong, but what if it all goes right? is holding, it's like, that's what seems like it's there. It's holding you back. And it's like, nope, you have to let it go. And any, if you, if you say, well, I've tried it before, I've done this before and it didn't work. Well, that was before you're a new person. You've learned, you've learned from those mistakes. And now, you know, and you're not here to also pick out other people's mistakes. So like, don't get a big ego that you're moving forward and somebody else is not. It's like, don't start pointing out flaws because people who are loyal to you and if you're loyal to the people that you love, they're still going to be here on this other side. So I feel like you have to be, you do have to be aware of your ego. Stay aware of your ego. Stay in check with your ego. So important because you're somebody who, want, I feel like some of you are some people that want to kind of bulldoze over and take full advantage of the situation say, all mine. I, I was told that it was, it was for me to do and it's all mine. So I don't want to share. Well, that's not going to serve you well either, because if we, if we do that, then things get taken away. So I also have, um, and I know we're in a Piscean energy right now, and, and we're just out of the full moon, and we're still in Mercury retrograde, but I am seeing water, a lot of water around you, and I feel as if it's like going to the, going to the ocean is what's coming up for me. Um, like spending time near water, taking lots of bath, uh, going, putting your feet in the ocean, whatever it may be. And of course not here in Alberta because we don't have ocean, <laughs> but maybe taking a holiday, a trip. But if you're living somewhere where there is an ocean, then get to the ocean, like get there and place your feet in the water. Um, <clears throat> but I also have I also have that energy of baptized, like cleansing yourself of your, of what you call your sins. Stop saying you, stop saying you've done these wrong things. Stop saying that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. You haven't done it. And so cleanse yourself of that. Like, and this is where the shower comes in handy or, you know, just standing in the shower and just imagining that you're just washing away all, all of the day all of the past, all of the words that you might have said that you regret saying now, anything like that, or anything, the, just wash it away. Just wash away everything that's not serving me and bring forth, bring forth the beautiful things that are. And remember, you know, the water comes in and the water goes out. The tide goes in, tide goes out. We're always going to be in the flow. Things are always going to change. And then, of course, this position thing again comes up and it's focus on Focus on service. How am I going to help somebody else? How am I going to be, you know, you helping, you helping others is what serves your soul. So the journey alone seems really, really hard that you got to do this alone, but this is a short period of time so that you can put your focus on, on the service that you're here to do, the job you're here to do, whatever kind of service it is in a service industry, in service as in being a helper to the God consciousness or being, you know, in the, in a field where there's, 
or you're of service a nurse, uh, so it could be a return to school, it could be EMT, it could be like anything like that. Um, and it's like, go to the areas where your life, where your heart finds the most joy. And it might be, it might be working in trauma, but it brings your heart joy to be able to help heal people, help see them, you know, see their lives be saved, whatever it is, but know that that's where the magic is. And the magic is out there waiting for you now. And it's telling you it's time for you to go towards the magic. And believe believe in miracles and magic. Believe in the unicorns. Believe in that things, that magical things can still can still happen. And that it's only it's it's only it, the magic is only dead if we allow it to be dead. If we believe in the human, the human skepticism, skeptic skeptic skepticism. <laughs> then then it, i feel like then you're losing you're losing hope and you're losing and you start to doubt and it's like no no i believe anything's possible i believe i can if i can believe i can fly i can fly and so oh where that just came from don't make wings and try to fly don't do that see this is where i have to make sure to tell you this is only entertainment don't actually try to fly if you're going to create something that's a like a newer version of a plane, go for it. Okay. Hey, purpose and creativity. That's what I'm getting. Okay. That was exactly as I got it. So where you are, where you're sitting in your life, what you've been doing this past couple of years have been exhausting. It's like, nope, you have to go in the forward movement. You got to start moving towards your purpose now. Now is the purpose year. This is transformation time for you. Get moving. And here's your creativity. You have to create your life. No one else is creating your life for you. You. You have to put the work in. You have to make this happen. Get moving. Get going. And know that you can't, you can't have somebody hold your hand to take you there. You have to do this on your own. Much, much love for March, my Aquarius. And I hope this resonates with some of you. It's the message I have. And it's like, it's done and over. It's like, poof, it's over. Um, if, it's, if it works for you, yay. Um, even if it's not resonating fully, just know that there's something in there. Listen to it twice even. It's something in there that's about forward movement, forward change. Trust that there's changes coming that are moving us forward into a healthier, happier life. Much love to you all, and I will see you all in April. Oh my God. And if you want to book a personal, can't believe it's almost April. Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, go to coreythorne.com. All the information will be down below. If you're interested in taking my more than existing training program, six month online program, that's also down below. And also know there's some free videos to be able to watch the introduction of my more than existing program. Thank you very much and have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.